What's up guys, Matt here from Become Elite and today I'm doing Day in the Life episode 23. So for breakfast, what we're doing is, I actually had a little pre-breakfast, I had some eggs, but then uh, with Mimi's family, we're gonna go out to a pancake house, have something there, and then uh, come back. I don't know the plan for the rest of the day, but probably it will involve a lift and uh, a recovery session, because I want it, my legs are pretty tight, my hamstrings were hurting after the game yesterday against LA Galaxy 2. Uh, we won 2-0, but both my hamstrings are feeling a little tight, so I'm gonna do a little recovery, some icing, maybe just some stuff that I do to kind of recover and get ready for uh, the next practices or games that come up. So just got back from breakfast. Uh, I just had eggs and uh, a couple waffles. So that was a good breakfast. I was out with Mimi's family, so I didn't record. Um, but now I'm back and me and my girlfriend Mimi are going to go to the gym soon, but she's gonna get all changed. In the meantime, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ice just at the very end of the game, I could just feel both of my hamstrings very tight and almost on the verge of becoming an injury. So this day in the life is gonna be about how I treat injuries, how I, uh, when I listen to my body and I don't push myself too much, just about balancing that out. And uh, also a little bit about my recovery sessions, what I do for recovery. Put, I just have a Ziploc bag full of ice cubes. I'm gonna ice both my hamstrings for 20 minutes, move it away for 20 minutes, and then put it back on for 20 minutes. Just icing just helps you know, flush in new blood, stop the inflammation. It's just really good for injury prevention and treatment. So I'm gonna do that right now, and hopefully I'm gonna prevent this hamstring tightness from turning into a hamstring injury. So that's the goal. Oh, it's so cold. Whew. Okay, now I'm gonna answer emails while I wait for 20 minutes. All right, so I just finished 20 minutes of icing, so now I'm going to take out the ice bags. Oops, the cat got scared. <laughs> take it, okay. So I'm gonna put these, uh-oh, it's leaking a little bit. It's okay. All right, so now I've got 20 minutes of rest without the ice, it's gonna warm back up, and then I'm gonna put on 20 minutes more of the ice again. I probably won't film it, as this probably isn't that exciting, but I'm gonna do that. That's pretty much the main part of recovery. If you ever have anything that's tight, if you have any muscular injury, or even like uh, ligament or bones or anything, I think the number one thing to do is rest and ice. Okay, so I just finished icing. Uh, they feel pretty cold, but good. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is wait for them to warm up a little bit more, and I'm gonna go to the gym and do a little recovery leg session. Very, very lightweight, pretty much just to go through the motions of warming up the muscles, getting some blood flow in there, just to loosen them up. Almost, I'd say every single one of my weightlifting workouts, I'm using the heaviest weight I can possibly manage with good form. But with this leg workout, I'm just gonna do about 50% of the normal weight. And I'm just gonna go through the motions, going through the form, focusing on just loosening up the legs. I'm also gonna probably do bike for about 20 minutes at the beginning. Just the same thing to get some blood in there, get the muscles going, try to like rehabilitate my hamstrings and get those right. So I'll do a little 20 minute bike ride, very light leg session, and I'll probably do some shoulders or some upper body um, just for fun, maybe. And on, for that, for the shoulders and the upper body, I'm gonna go heavy weight. So that's the plan. Um, just make some pre-workout and uh, then we'll go. We'll go. One thing that I always see on the comments or I get tons of DMs or questions about in my emails it's always kids asking me like what my training was like when I was their age. It's hard. I mean, when I was, I was always very, very focused. I, my personality has been very, very determined and motivated. I've always been the type of person who wants to go out and try to master something. Um, but at the same time, no, I mean, when I was in high school, I wasn't counting calories. I wasn't uh, doing the exact drills, uh, sets, reps, repetitions, my rest period. I wasn't having a timer out there. I wasn't doing the same amount from my right and the left as I always am now. As my whole life had been going on about from the age of about 14 and up, each year I progressively added more and more and gotten more and more intense in my training. For example, when I was 14 years old, um, I, my training pretty much consisted of me just playing one-on-one -on -one with my brother out in the front yard, playing soccer tennis in our garage, playing futsal in our garage, 
So it was pretty much just playing games, but we we're doing that for like an hour, two hours each day on top of our normal training. So I wasn't doing like the, the sets and the reps and really like taking it down to a science when I was 14, but I was still out there training for two hours a day, even though it was more just kind of playing games. When I was 15, I started realizing like, oh, I could have a good shot of being a really good varsity high school player. So I amped up my training. Me and my brother started doing uh, some drills together. We started working on moves. We maybe started doing some 1v1 stuff that was more catered to actually game realistic stuff instead of just trying to do like the, like the I don't know, some of the free kickers or the skill twins move where you kind of hit it over your head or do crazy stuff. Um, we started focusing more on stuff that was really gonna help our careers. 16, 17, 18, when I was getting towards the end of my high school career, that was when I really started ramping it up because I thought that I can play D1 soccer. So I tried to start doing uh, workouts and training sessions that I thought would help prepare me to play D1. Uh, I would start introducing more drill-like stuff. I wasn't playing for fun all the time. I was more kind of going out there to really get better. I started really doing some running and sprint work, plyometrics, trying to get more faster and explosive. Um, I can't tell you like how many times I did stuff each day because it kind of varied. Some weeks I would focus more on getting more explosive and plyometrics. Some weeks I'd focus more on becoming more technically with the technical with the ball. So it really varied. College, when I was in college, it, it ramped up even more. I started surrounding myself with people who had the same goals as me as to become the best D1 players that we could be, to win a national championship, even to become a pro. So we would go out there and just solely just do drills. We would just do drills that were super specific for what we wanted to improve. I was going out there and treating it with sets and reps and exercises and rest times and working on the right and the left the same amount, really treating it like a science. And now, I mean, you guys have seen how I train now. It's very, I started counting my calories. I'm not currently counting calories, but I'm really just each year ramping up the intensity, ramping up the frequency, putting in more workouts, putting in more trainings. So it just slowly has gone up and up and up. And so many of you guys asked me that, so I thought I'd touch upon that. And it just slowly has been going up and up each year. And I hope it continues to ramp up in intensity as my body gets used to it, as I become a better player, as I become a smarter player. So that's my goal. And I have some big plans for this off season actually to really, really take my off season training to the next level. And I'm gonna share this completely on this channel. Uh, it's gonna be a new series. Uh, but yeah, that's all I wanna talk about right now about it, but it is gonna be the most serious training that I've ever done. So that's what it is. It's always been a constant progression of getting harder and harder and harder each year and more and more serious and just more intense.
<laughs> so I just finished the weightlifting workout. Uh, on the bike, the hamstring felt great. Icing really helped. Um, uh, the squats felt great. The quad extensions felt great and the calf raises felt great. I started doing some hamstring curls and after a set or two, I started to feel that tightness again a little bit. I was using the lightest weight on the stack, only like 30 pounds, you can't go any lighter than that. And just focusing on just activating it and getting it uh, a little bit of strength training. But it's still, I could a tiny bit feel that uh, tightening up a little bit. So I stopped after one set, called it a day, and I'm just gonna move on. And that's what I always like to talk about, just knowing your body, you know. I started to feel that tightness, so I stopped. Uh, I just finished the gym, so now I'm back, and Mimi made lunch for me. And it's just a chicken, what was it chicken salad chicken sandwich? Salad sandwich. <laughs> chicken salad sandwich uh, with some bananas, blackberries, some spinach, and then just a green protein smoothie, which is really good, that her dad made. So pretty excited, gonna eat this. Um, just been answering some emails and then probably going to the beach here soon. That's Robert. That's <laughs> <laughs> <No> shine. <time. Uh, I'm not gonna do much here. I'll probably lie down, just relax in the sun, hop in the ocean for a little bit, just swim around, just get my muscles moving around. But I don't really have a routine when it comes to the recovery session. I'm probably gonna spend about 15 to 20 minutes in the water, just moving around, doing some light stretches. That's about it. Uh, nothing really special. All right, it's back from the beach. Now I'm going to ice my hamstrings again. I really just want to take care of them and try to do all that I can to make sure that they're 100% by Wednesday. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off, 20 minutes on. And then I, depending on the timing, I might have dinner and then probably foam roll and stretch. But I'm going to do this again. And while I'm icing, I'm just going to start editing a uh, little video, the next video that's going to go out. So for dinner, I'm doing just uh, Mongolian beef with some chicken, mushrooms, and some sprouts, and some noodles. And I also have some pork uh, spring rolls, and I'm just drinking water. Um, so like I always say, like I'm not doing a full diet right now. I'm just trying to eat as healthy as possible, but it's going really well. Uh, I'm really happy with my weight, happy with everything. Um, I think in off-season, I'm going to do a very strict diet where I follow all my meals exactly in tune to each other to make sure I get the right amounts of protein and carbs and fats and everything. But right now I'm just gonna go um, for in season, just eat when I'm hungry and just try to maintain my weight. It was going great. So I'm gonna eat this and then um, we're gonna watch, we're watching Stranger Things, like the Netflix original right now. So watch some Stranger it's Things. So good. So good. And then uh, we're on episode three right now, if any of you spoil it in the comment section, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> but um, Block them. Yeah, I know. I'll block you for my channel. Don't. <laughs> but anyway, so then after this, actually, we'll probably be done with Stranger Things by the time this gets out in a couple yeah, of days. Yeah, tonight. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then we're going to go and do a little, or I'm going to do a little foam roll and just some stretching, light stretching. Uh, Mimi's going to do it too. She just whispered, but we're going to do that. <laughs> and uh, then call it a night. So it's good. I got practice tomorrow morning, so I'm waking up early and driving back up to uh, Irvine for practice. But eat dinner right now and enjoy the TV show. So we just finished watching a couple episodes of Stranger Things, finished dinner, and now I just wanna do uh, some foam rolling and then some really light stretching, probably gonna be about 15, 20 minutes of it, just before bed. The hamstring's feeling really good. The icing's been helping a lot. I think activating at the gym helped a little bit too. Um, it's feeling a lot stronger than last night. Last night I was kinda of hobbling around. Um, but yeah, let's just get right into it. So what I do is I'm gonna do 10 to 20 rolls and I kind of roll as there and back on the foam roller is one, so 10 to 20 um, on pretty much every part of my back and all the way down to my lower body. So I'm just gonna do, I do 10 to 20 rolls right all the way up and down my back. And then I just work just all the way down. So now I'm gonna hit the gluteus maximus and my favorite way to do that is pop a leg over the other one and then just to roll right on the glute. 10 to 20 rolls for every single one. 
Next, I'm gonna do the hamstrings. And so for this, since my hamstrings are feeling a little tight, I'm gonna probably do about 30 to 40 rolls on each. And so I'm just gonna put one hamstring down, cross the leg over. I'm gonna focus on the hamstring. Then I'm gonna do the calves. Just put one calf on, cross the legs again, same thing as the hamstring. Just go up and down. If there's any point where you feel that it really feels tight, you can go slowly or just rest it on that spot and go super slowly down it. And that kills sometimes. But for the most part, I'm feeling pretty good. So I'm just gonna do the whole thing. Switch calves. And there we go. So now I'm done with the back side of my legs. I'm gonna flip over and do the front side now. So now I'm gonna do the shin, the side of the shin. My favorite way to do that is to do both at the same time. You just come right down here. Fancy. Next I'm gonna do the quads. Pretty big muscle, so I kinda of split it up into a couple different groups. I go straight down the middle. I'm really putting my entire body weight is on that to really get in deep. And it hurts. Okay. Now I'm going to do the IT band. So the IT band is like right along the sides. For soccer players, it's always super tight. This and the hips, right on the hips. So I'm going to do like 30 to 40 rolls on my IT bands and on the hips right now. I'll just show you guys. So the IT band, I come like I'm doing like a side plank almost. And I just go super slowly down that IT band. And it hurts. Okay. Now, I'm gonna do 30 to 40 rolls right on the hip. It's pretty much just the same way as I'm gonna do the quad. It's just higher up, right on that hip bone. There's a muscle, it's gonna be right here. And that for me is always really tight. So I'm just gonna hit that like 30 to 40 rolls. Finally, the very last thing is the groin. So you flip it this way and bring your leg up and then you just get the groin. Pretty simple. Only 10 to 20 rolls for this because my groin is feeling pretty good, pretty loose. So now for me, my, my entire body is feeling very good except for my hamstrings. And whenever you have like a, a tightness in the muscle, you want to do very light stretching on it because the harder you stretch and the more you kind of tug at that muscle, the more you're kind of tearing apart those muscle fibers. So when it comes to like uh, kind of like preventing muscle strains, you want to do light stretching to activate the muscle but you don't want to stretch too hard because what a muscle strain is, is when the muscle fibers are like this on the, on the whatever muscle it is, like my hamstring, a strain is when they start to strain apart. And the really bad strains are where they come up completely off of each other. So you, if you stretch too hard, you're really just pulling on those uh, muscle fibers more and more. So you just want to do really light stretching just to get it loose. So I'm just going to hold for about 30 seconds just on the hamstrings. I'm just going to come straight down Hold on to my toes. Um, it's not to the point of like pain, I can still talk through it, um, but I definitely do feel the stretching of my hamstrings. I'm just gonna hold this for 30 seconds and just probably do three sets. So that's the video guys. I hope you guys like this day in the life. Day in the life episode 23. Um, hope it was a good one for you. If you did, shoot a comment down below. I love reading. I read all you guys' comments. I can't respond to all of them because there's a ton, but I try to respond to the really good questions but I really appreciate all the comments. Um, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. The support's been amazing. It's, it's awesome. I, I can't, you know, I can't explain how happy I've been lately just seeing how much you guys are liking the vlogs and the videos. And uh, finally, just stay up to date to all the videos. You know, you guys know the drill. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed now. I got practice early tomorrow morning. Have a great day, guys. I hope you guys liked it.